Today, we'll share some stories, and some lessons, talk about the importance of practice here in Charleston, South Carolina on our workshop. Well, hey everyone, welcome. Uh, I'm here with Rick LePage, David Archer. We're in David's hometown, Charleston, South Carolina. Well, we're not in your hometown, but. Close by. Close we're by. Bidler Forest. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful place. This is sort of old growth South Carolina, and it's, I, I don't know, the first time I walked in here, I was just taken away by it. It's, uh, is this, this is one of the biggest chunks of natural old growth cypress swamp? Yeah. I think one of the only ones that's never been logged. Mm. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's run by the Audubon Society, and they have these boardwalks, and we can walk through and Sometimes you see wildlife, but just the reflections of the cypress knees and... and we have clouds today, which is nice, so it's kind of like a big softbox above us. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. That's one thing I notice a lot of people photographing, they get out in the forest, they're like, oh, well, there was no sunlight. Yeah. But no sunlight in the forest is perfect. You get yep. such high contrast on sunny days in the forest. So we've had a really great workshop with a bunch of wonderful wonderful people i don't know rick what was what was your favorite part oh birds of prey we went to the the avian conservation uh, center, center yeah. and uh you know every time we do the charleston workshop we go do that and uh you know the the people there are wonderful mm -hmm. they really work to sort of rehabilitate birds and and teach us about these birds and the world and I, 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 I had so much fun just shooting bird portraits. That was, that was what I did this year. I sort of focused on that. And it's amazing because, you know, we're able to photograph owls and birds of prey in flight there. And they're, you know, they've got these rehabilitated birds that couldn't be returned to the wild. And you have just hours of practice photographing some of the most complex moving subjects on the planet. Um, and, and it's just, it's, it is a wonderful, practical experience for everyone and for me this year you know we talk a lot about practice when we yes, talk about we photography and uh, you know we went out David was wise enough to kind of help us with the schedule being the local guy and the unbelievable bird photographer we always introduce David as bird photographer extraordinaire and I think a lot of people have seen his images and I'm going to share a few right here too but he we went out and we went to the the swamp the magnolia swamp uh and did some practice the first night here and talked about settings and got people working with their autofocus methods mm -hmm. with all their different cameras and lenses before we went to the Center for Birds of Prey, which was a whole bunch more practice. And then we were back out in the Magnolia Gardens a couple days later and happened upon a, a, a it was a barred owl. A barred owl, yeah. yeah. And, you know, from just the practice those days and being dialed in, I mean, I happened to get in the right position and had it all my settings and got that wild owl flying off the tree and portraits of the wild owl and it was just yeah. like this is what it's all about that's right yep. what, what's your been your favorite part yeah. david well i'm a big fan of magnolia plantation i live close by i go there numerous times yep. every week when i'm in town and it just has a wealth of targets it's it's got landscape opportunities it's got beautiful flowers this time of year we hit it at the peak of the Azalea bloom yep. this year. We did. Yeah. And it's just Stunning. insane. It's mm. it's so beautiful. We had a beautiful sunrise yeah. there. You know, it wasn't perfect. We did. But it was yeah. a it was a lovely morning. People had a great time. And yeah. on the other hand, they have a swamp garden there too. It's got tons of birds, they're nesting birds now, the great egrets are beautiful breeding mm -hmm. plumage, they're displaying. Mm -hmm. They're there's, they're there's, flying with sticks. They're Back fighting each other. <laughs> They're raising their young. There's yeah. the heron with yep. the with the nest full of a couple chicks and That's, yeah, great blue herons on a nest with several of them have a couple of chicks that are just starting to stand up. You can see them look like little prehistoric creatures. There's alligators. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> lots of gators. Lots of gators around it, here. It's pretty amazing. I've got to say the magnolia plantation. And you know, one of the things it's a it's an old historic plantation, and it's also got the old slave quarters too, which is just a I don't know. Walking through there always catches me. And this last time, I thought you know I'll take the Leica and I'll try to sort of feel a little bit of the emotion of walking through that section and thinking about mm -hmm. that history and. 
yeah, there's a lot to photograph there and a lot to be passionate about there. And it's, uh, I love the bird. We, we happened upon that, that duck with her whole brood. I've never seen so many baby ducklings <laughs> at, at, in one hatch. That was amazing. I think, you know, what, one of the things that was, that was really wonderful for me this trip was, was Middleton Place. I hadn't been there before. Yeah. Right. Uh, we've talked about it. And we went in there, and I loved the big, huge live oaks that they had there. Yeah. And I just, you know, that was, I walked in and it, initially I thought, wow, I wish I'd brought my, my 14 millimeter to get right underneath these things and, and show them in a different way. But I wound up working with the Leica and, and with my, um, my 105 yeah. on, the, on the ZF. I had my 105 1.4, which I've worked with a lot on this trip and gotten some images that I just love. And I, I just, you know, I found a different way to show the scale of those trees. And I use David as a subject a fair bit walking <laughs> yeah. through there. Uh, but I think everybody on this trip has had a really wonderful time. And we've eaten some incredible food. What's the name of that taco place yeah. that we went to? Bar Taco. Bar yeah. Taco. You're in Charleston. Go to Bar Taco. Um, yeah. the, the margaritas are incredible. And the food is amazing. Uh, there's just so much. I mean, you yeah. can't can't go wrong. Lewis's barbecue. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's over the top. That is. Which is Zalbao biscuit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. And I think that the uh, we didn't talk at all about the Magnolia Cemetery, but that's an amazing location too. Right. Um, there's just so much macro work and also beautiful gardens, and there's birds there too. Yeah. Yeah. We got a guided tour with my friend Beverly, who's a recently retired director, who's been there. 42 years, mm -hmm. yeah. and so she took us around and gave us insights on, mm -hmm. on some of the historic things there, too. That was fun. Yeah. It sounds like we had a pretty busy workshop. <laughs> <laughs> We've done a lot. Yeah, and we yeah. wandered around Charleston for an afternoon, we too. We have. <laughs> we have. And we're in the midst of our big spring workshop tour. You know, we got the total eclipse in a couple of weeks in Mazatlan. Yeah. And then a little bit of break, and we'll all be in Charles, or in, uh, Charleston. We'll all be in Costa Rica, yes, and we've got a couple. Yes, some of the people, some of the people on this trip are coming back to that with us, and this has been a great warm up for that. Oh, it was for me. Yeah. I mean, I got that new 200 to 600 mm -hmm. Sony, and you know, I needed to learn how to use it with birds in flight. So and how's that it's, been? It's been it it's, it was tough actually, especially at the start. Yeah. But we did lots of practicing. We did. I mean, I did okay the first night. Birds of Prey, got some good stuff. But then last night when we were at the Swamp Garden, it just felt much more, at, I felt much more at ease with it. Told you both I'd make bird photographers out of it. <laughs> practice, 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 yep. practice, yep. practice. And you know, I will just say once again that, you know, David Archer with this 400 2.8S with the teleconverter, you're an artist with this tool. I doubt that anybody who has this lens has shot more with it than you. You're carrying it around all the time. You make me want one, and the images that, that he yeah. pulls out of it are just insane. I've been working with the 800, which, you know, the more I do, the more, you know, capturing birds in flight with that. It's a challenge. It's fun. Still would love to have that one. And, and I think all of us have been getting some good practice in. I'm still absolutely happy with this 100 to 400. Yeah. Um, I, I've been using it when I don't want the 800. Like in here, everything is so tight. Um, using the 800 most of the time is just going to be overkill. Um, and I've, I've gotten results with this lens that have made me really pleased on this trip. And its ability to focus in close, um, and yeah, its performance has yeah. been great. I don't think anybody shooting any of the new glass for the new mirrorless systems, whether it's Sony or Canon or Nikon, has been disappointed yeah. on this trip. It's no. like the moment to be a photographer right now with the optics and the sensors that we have are just mind-bendingly good. And the autofocus. And the autofocus. And the autofocus tracking uh, is just... Yeah. We've been doing the hybrid focus where you go wide area to 3D. You know, the minute you capture them in flight with the wide area, hit that tracking button, which I really like mapping to my lens function button so you don't have to move your hand at all. You just you're tracking with the back button in wide area and then bap, you hit that and it tracks it all over the frame as the bird moves. I had that kite in the frame going two 360s around me in the field while the, at the Birds of Prey Center with this lens, you know, tight. And it was keeping it in perfect focus the entire time. And I don't know if anybody's photographed a kite. That's a challenging bird to track. Yeah. That yes, bird's moving erratically fast like a fighter jet mm -hmm. and maneuvers, so. 
Yeah, this has been a good one. We've gotten a lot of practice in. We have a great dinner tonight back home. Get ready for Mazatlan. <laughs> I'm not sure when we're doing our next office hours. Uh, I had a question from someone, where can I get regular updates about that? And if you're on the email sign up, you run over to my website, it'll ask you to sign up. If you're not already on there, you go to HudsonHenry.com. You can also see all the gear that we're talking about and all the gear that David and I recommend, some stuff that Rick even recommends. He's got good taste and stuff. <laughs> Asian. For a Sony guy. You can always <laughs> click this link right here, HudsonHenry.com slash ATS links. Yeah. Um, we love to help people spend money. <laughs> I, I enjoy spending other people's money. It's one of my pleasures of life. <laughs> and capturing better images. Yes. So, All right. So sign up for those. Leave us a question. Those big free group photography get-togethers we do Tuesday mornings uh, at least once a month or so at 10 a.m. Uh, we've got so many workshops going on right now. I'm not sure when the one that will air after the, or the, the office hours after this will be, but we'll get it scheduled and you'll find out. So, yeah. All right, everybody, stay creative, stay safe, have fun. We'll see you next week.